We introduced dynamic report creation for Page Builder in AGI 32 version 17. It didn't take long for users to love the feature and to ask for more flexibility. So, in version 17.2, we made dynamic content easy to edit. In this video, I will demonstrate four processes by which you can enhance your utilization of dynamic content. Process 1. Modify the project content after the report has been generated. Let's generate a dynamic report for this simple project. Dynamic reports are based on the use of viewpoints, and we have three, plan extents, isometric, and north wall. Let's go to Page Builder and select Create Report. We'll use the letter landscape form. Select the content you want in the report. Be sure to include the banner and the footer if desired. The automated report is complete. However, there are a few other things I would like to do to this report to meet my needs. You can, in Page Builder with the report visible, click on the Unlock All Pages button in the Page Builder Toolkit. You can now edit the contents. Take a quick look around and you can see all the proxy entities which make the report dynamic. Viewpoints, Render Views, schedules, and so on. So for this report, I would like to edit the calculation summary schedule and add the z-height field. You can do this in the usual way. Go to Drawing and Schedules Toolkit, edit the schedule. Grid Z, okay. Simple as that. You can add fields or edit any part of a dynamic schedule if necessary using this technique. Simply unlock the report and edit the schedule. Okay, so let's change the font for the entire report. Go to Report Properties and set the font. In the Page Builder Toolkit, select Report Properties. Find the font name select the new font. Let's use Century. Okay, the font in the entire report has now been changed to Century. Now simply lock all the pages, lock all pages, all the content from your project file returns and you're ready to print to PDF. Process 2. Modify a blank dynamic report and save to use with other projects. Open AGI 32 with a new file. No project content loaded. Go directly to Page Builder and select Create Dynamic Report. We'll use the letter landscape form. Choose the content to be included. Remember, you can always remove pages you don't need. All right, let's unlock the report. And now let's add a master page and a title block frame. To add the master page, we'll insert a blank page. Now let's move the page to the left. It's now the first page in the report. Now click the master page icon. I'll use the Drawing and Schedules toolkit to remove the caption text. Now let's draw a rectangle. There's our title block. Let's draw another line. And let's add a logo. Page Builder, Image Port, Browse. This would be your logo. Check the size. Unlock it if necessary. Never make things bigger, but you can always make them smaller. All right, great. Let's add a text note. Let's pull this in from a text file. How about a disclaimer that we use for every report? Let 
Let's rotate it. Now let's move it into the title block. You get the idea. You may need to reposition some of the dynamic content so that it doesn't interfere with your page frame. For example, let's go to the viewpoint proxy. Notice it overlaps our title block. We can easily size that down. How about the render view? Same idea. You can easily size that down. You can use the toolkit over here while the report is unlocked to make any modifications you need. You might also need to move some of the text away from the page frame. Now all you need to do is save the report. Give it a new name. It will now be available under the Open Existing Report tab. We can see that here. Go to Open Existing Report. There's our new report. Let's see it work. Okay, here's our simple interior file with three viewpoints. Let's go to render mode. We have two rendered views. Go to page builder. Go to open existing report. Select the report we just built. There's our luminaire summary page. Luminaire images. Here's our viewpoints. One, two, and three. And two rendered views. Not too shabby. Process 3. Add dynamic viewports and image ports to an existing report. Open a new AGI32 file, no project content, and go to Page Builder. Locate your existing report from the Open Existing Report tab. We'll just grab the sample letter landscape report. This might be a report you've been using prior to version 17 without dynamic content. So this simple report has one viewport page and one image port page. There's the viewport page, there's the image port page. We can easily make these placeholders grab a viewpoint or whatever render view is shown. So locate the viewport page. There we go, page 3. Right click on the viewport, select properties. Set it to a dynamic viewpoint. So it'll automatically grab viewpoint number one. That's the first viewpoint that you set in model mode. Also, if you're filtering content by view using Project Manager, for example, ISO lines are only visible in view two, then you must still set the view up here in the view name section. This is really about the only reason to use multiple views in model mode anymore with the introduction of the new viewpoint feature. Now let's say for example we know our project has multiple viewpoints, say three. We could easily copy this page twice. Now notice we're on page five. Look at the properties of the dynamic viewpoint viewpoint number three. So it automatically propagated your viewpoints when I copied the pages. That's pretty cool. Let's go to page six. Right click, select properties for this image port. Click the box to make this a dynamic image and insert render view number one. Likewise you could copy the page and pick up render view number two. Straightforward. When you're ready, save the report. Give it a new name. The report's now ready to use. 
Remember, this report will only grab as many viewpoints and rendered views as you have viewports and image ports placed in the report. So this may be satisfactory, but you'll appreciate the next process where we can make the report self-propagating. Process 4. Add propagating viewport and image port pages to an existing report. To make your old reports even more dynamic, viewports and image ports should automatically propagate and accommodate any number of viewpoints and rendered views. So start AGI 32, no content loaded, and let's go to Page Builder. Locate your old existing report. Open it up. If you have multiple viewport or image port pages, remove all except one of each because now your report is going to actually self-propagate. Select Report Properties from the Page Builder Toolkit. Navigate to the first Viewport page. You can do this using the buttons up here. So we know the Viewport page is page 3. Now we see on Page Name we're at page 3. This is actually a drop-down menu. Select Viewpoint Plus for the page name. Go back up to the icon move to the next page which is page 4 and let's make this a render view plus page. So now we've made dynamic content on pages 3 and 4 and you can see the titles of the pages changed. Viewpoint plus. Right click on that viewport, select properties, select dynamic viewpoint and you're all set to go. Go to the render view page, right click Select Properties. Select a new image. Go to the Proxy tab. Select an image that might work. You can always use the largest image, 18 by 10. Unlock the size. Make sure it comes in at 18 by 10 inches. And now we can size it down graphically or we can size it down manually little bit too large graphically. Now right click select properties and you'll see that dynamic image is selected. It's going to pick up render view number one. Remember you do not want to increase the size of the image port as the image will pixelate. What we did was decrease the size so we selected the largest size that might fit for convenience and then decreased it to meet our needs. Go back to the viewpoint page. We could actually have multiple viewports on one page. Copy, paste. Now this is too big, but the idea is now look at the properties and it's viewpoint number two. So it's automatically propagating from multiple viewpoints. What you don't want to do is put viewports and image ports on the same page. That won't work with dynamic content. As a final step, you can create dynamic luminaire images page for images from the Instabase, Polar Plot, and LCS graphs. So let's go to page one and let's insert a copy of this page to maintain our title block and everything else. So page two. Let's remove the schedules. Now select the report properties from the Page Builder Toolkit. For page two, assign Luminaire Image Plus. Now we'll need to place the appropriate proxies on the page. An image port, proxy, a Luminaire Image. Image port, proxy, a Polar Plot. Likewise, we can do the same thing for the LCS graph. Now, if you'd like to have multiple luminaire images and polar plots on one page, then what you need to do is insert a second set of proxies. Otherwise, you'll just have one luminaire image and one polar plot on each page. So I copied it. Likewise, now 
Now each page will have two luminaire images and the associated polar plots. Now the only thing that's not truly self-propagating are schedules. Schedules are dynamic, but they'll not automatically break and move to another page. If you want to go this far, you may be best using the process number two, create a blank dynamic report, add your title blocks to it, essentially recreating your custom template.